very nice to meet you at last because obviously I've been following you <laughs> for seven years, so I'm a big fan of your work. There are particular moments and periods which allow a voice to change the way that people think. In some cases, they call him Ai Shen online, you know, sort of holy I or I God. I don't know what the right translation would be, but. Ai Shen, which is like Venus or something, like the god of love. It's the last time, huh? Basically, they consider him a god. You know, that's a very dangerous description in China. I describe him as a, he's a Beijing band, Andy Warhol. Do you think you're becoming like a brand? Yeah, yeah, I happen to be a brand for liberal thinking and individualism, I think. It's nice to see you, you look good. Yeah? Yeah. You think I can survive? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're so honest. This guy is so honest. So do you think that your art or art in general has the power to stop a dictatorship? Nobody can change China. Yeah, I'm not either. So what? Among all the Chinese artists I know, he's probably the only one who, deep down, really cares about this country and what happens to it. Weiwei would put his life on the line for something that he believes in. The Americans and the Europeans, they fear China, and he feeds that. Yeah, he is a big promoter, you know? I mean, that's one of his talents, definitely, communication how to make people believe in his ideas. What inspired you to come up with this project? I have often warned him there is a clear line where you are considered to be a human rights activist. Should you cross that line, that's where the form ends with the Chinese government. Wait, Worried? Yes, I am worried, and uh, you know, every day there's people are a sign which tells me I should be worried. I don't want my next generation still have to fight the same thing as I did, and I did because my father's generation didn't do a good job. <laughs> <laughs>